Hold on, just move these guys. Let's make sure it's good on the stream. It's got all that auto hosting stuff. Let's move these guys around accordingly. And see if we can crew our command building a bit more. Fucking frightening dupes. That should be good. So we got a guy on the second story right here. That's awesome. Let's group these three guys up and add them to the command building as well. And as you can probably hear, these guys are very, very excited for the bringing back of Iron Front. Hopefully it won't crash. Though it probably will. But... No holds barred. I did a bit of stress testing already, and they should be good. So we will go from there. I'm getting a bit tired of listening to them. So I'm just gonna teleport away. Lovely. Awesome. So there's like 35 of them down on this server right now, mainly using Faces of War contents. Uh, Iron Front, we've condensed a bit. I don't know why some of them are changing the freaking clothing they're wearing, but whatever, we'll go with it. Anyway, guys, hope you are doing all right. Sorry, I said 30 minutes. It took 45. That's because some slight server issues, but they have been fixed now. So we'll see how this all plays out. This is high command to ground command. Do you copy? Yeah, I read you. Solid. Here is your objective today. Uh, on the map, you're going to see three markers and a dotted circle. The main objective is at the objective marker. It is the circle with the red cross in the middle. That identifies a Japanese command building we'd like you to get in and clear out. Be advised, it has local AA on it, so attacking it directly is not a good idea. Break. To the north, we have a warning marker where there has been heavy AA. The previous battalion that tried to assault that objective went there and was all shot down. We are still looking for the survivors, but that's for a different battalion to deal with. To the right is a marker that is red, and it is outlying a bunker complex that we have identified through scouting that could potentially have some AA and mortars that can be used to soften up the HQ building. Or you could bring your own mortars to achieve this task. Regardless, it is a target of opportunity, and it also has some potential AA for your flyboys to get shot down with. It were, for, uh, if it were taken out, that can increase the amount of area that your fighter pilots can fly around without getting shot down. It's also the only AA position we can find. We don't know where the other AA positions are to the north yet. The Japanese appear to have them hidden. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes, uh, you said that the uh, objective to the southeast, that, uh, that had AA at it or not? A firm, both have AA on them. The HQ's AA is pretty heavy, but the marker's AA is also pretty heavy. Basically, if you can assault that position to possibly commandeer a few mortars as well as clear out more AA to give your fighter pilots more room to work with instead of getting shot down. Gotcha, okay. Uh, one other question. We, uh, what are our modes of transportation? Uh, you can either go pa uh, through the bridge or you can take in sky trains. Uh, be advised, the AA to the right of the HQ will be uncrewed at this time to allow the Skytrains a free paradrop without being molested. Uh, however, the AA on the HQ and towards the north will not uh, be uncrewed. It will be crewed, so drop zone should be to the right of the island. 10-4, and uh, this is meta here. Uh, do we have to equip our guys with parachutes, or are these things uh, gliders? If I remember correctly, uh, these are the same exact sky trains we used a few weeks ago regarding the behind the enemy lines. I was told that they have an option for you uh, via script to paradrop with a parachute. Okay, so uh, we don't need to load up with a par uh, parachute, we'll just... okay. Uh, I do not believe so. Um, 
that's what I was told last time. If that feature is not there anymore, please let me know. Um, and then we'll just have another reinsert. All right. Well, uh, let's let's run a test guy over there, and then uh, if that works, we'll probably pair drop. But uh, we'll see. Soft copy. Let's set up more of our flak. Waiting. Uh, two positions right there. We'll put two more positions over here but i'm pretty sure they told me last time that they were able to get out no problem but uh lever do we have any sort of uh convoy vehicles to cross the bridge with or do we have to do that by foot roger i'll provide you with two greyhounds in one second all right sounds good uh no troop transports other than the greyhounds i'll provide some trucks as well that's good Awaiting orders. Waiting. All right, crew one, crew the other. Awaiting orders. Crew one and crew the other. Let's Wonderful. Let's give a warm welcome, shall we? Clutch, thank you for the follow. I hear people dying. Fuck sakes. Alright, what do they want? Troop transports. Waiting. So let's do a Willy Pete. Now I gotta go digging for the rest of these damn things. Not that. Ah, not a half track. Ready for orders. Greyhound Uno. Greyhound Dos. Let's see. Ready. First off, let's get an ammo truck. Waiting orders. Fuel truck. <laughs> and a repair Standing truck by. down. To be used for the aircraft when they come back in, and then I just need Ready for orders. two regular transport Wait. trucks. That should be good. High command, ground command, be advised, assets have been provided. Thank you, Lever. No problem, man, Biggie. And based on how they go, and since they can't do any recon, uh, we'll just put down roaming units accordingly. So. We'll see how this all plays out. Now, I'm pretty sure... Let me just quickly check fire teams here. If I do... Uh, I want to find like a dedicated AT team here. So if I just Ready. do team... They don't have launchers. I'm just looking for AT grenades here. Type 97. I don't know what that is. <laughs> How about we just look under Imperial Men? Do we have any sort of AT? LMG, LMG, blah, blah. This could be a slightly annoying issue. We don't have any AT, so those, ta those Greyhounds are basically going to be unkillable. We can shoot out the wheels to disable them, so that'll work. But anyway, guys, welcome to the program. In terms of our bunker complex, we've only got really this one set up right here with a few hidden statics. And we've got our AA pressed around this one in an underground bunker right here. Uh, Japs are blue for because that's how the mod works. And uh, same with the Germans, they're blue for as well. We gotta pack the frickin' building with goats. Ah, uh, fine. We'll put in, that'll be the Japanese is, uh, animal supply. But uh, that's just how the mod works. Germans and Japanese are blue for, op for are the Russians, and independent are the U.S. and U.K. forces. I, uh, Iron Front is supposed to be the Iron Front of World War II, which was between the Germans and the Soviets. And then DLC for that one game called Iron Front included U.S. and U.K. forces, which is what all this stuff is. I think they also included Japs. But... 
U.S. like in and just in terms of this mod and how it was made, I guess the U.S. aren't the good guys, which I'm pretty sure our German players are absolutely thrilled with. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know that's just how the mod creators made it. I can't change that. So there you go, two things of goats. You happy now? <laughs> but thank you for the 15, Pooba. Here we'll even put some by this uh, flak position, because why not? When we do custom composition creation later tonight, remind me to load this mod set so we can um, make flak goats a reality. <laughs> we'll see how everything goes. Otherwise, I've given them their briefing. They've got plenty of different transport planes to use as well as these three fighter planes. Mainly uh, fighter bombers, as we see here, each one has a pretty sizable bomb to use. And I think these are also some bomb bays on the side, so we'll see what the player base does. But they've got a pretty sizable group of forces to fight. I'm pretty sure they've got about 35 infantry on the ground. What exactly am I witnessing? You know what? Let's just kill them. They're gonna die of smoke inhalation. Great. Lovely. These guys are just really, really interesting, to say the least. Uh, Germans, yes, they do have Tiger tanks. However, the Japanese don't have any airplanes or uh, land vehicles. I've been looking at a mod that could potentially fix that. However, I want to make sure our Iron Front build is stable before we do any custom edits and whatnot, because I don't want to have the same issue. Um, we also don't have Bloodlust working. Uh, not working, but we have it off right now. So the issue can be one of three things I've narrowed it down to. Uh, we were running both the all-in-one and uh, the stuff within the all-in-one pack at once. So we were basically running two copies of the mods. That could have been causing the crashes. It could be Bloodlust doing something weird causing the crashes. Or it could be the fact that we had a bunch of different server keys and people were running different versions of Iron Front causing the crashes. Regardless, we'll figure out today if it really did anything. Some of the planes are gliders. What, like this one? Can it fly? <laughs> uh, this is a wooden glider. You are absolutely right. Well, we'll see. Um, we'll see what the player base does with them. <laughs> wooden gliders. Who would have known? Gliders can't take off. Curious how they get in the air then, but we'll uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. So we also have some ambient voicing here. Some of the players can randomly say a few lines. Quick weapon check. We're seeing mainly a lot of rifles being used. Some bars, Boeing 50 cal, Thompson, flamethrower. That's gonna be interesting. Well, yeah, just uh, a lot of the same. A bazooka. Two. Three bazookas, actually. Jeez. But I don't really have any AT. Or anything that needs AT within the AO, except if they direct line of fire the bunkers or the actual AA positions. Yeah, the M1 Garand, especially the reload sound, definitely loud as fuck. So we'll see how this all plays out. But we've got Type 1s right here. Type 92s, excuse me. Nice, deadly machine guns with this amazing, perfectly straight belt. And I am looking forward to the rest of this. Uh, checking the stream's lighting and what OBS is doing with my damn footage. Going to bring up the time acceleration a bit to make it lighter, at least for the stream. Give me one moment. And we're just going to only have this one up today, and then I will allocate everything and see if there needs to be any adjustments and we'll go from there so i'll bring it up to about 7 p.m eastern standard 
the belt is minus 100 to your immersion. Oh, that's cute. Now, there we go. Now I see it's gotten much brighter. We'll take that away. And we'll let the player base go from there. Yeah, so the bullet should shoot straight-ish if the magazine's just perfectly straight within the <laughs> explosive rounds. Uh, high command, ground command, do you copy? Yeah, go ahead. Roger, uh, let the pilots know I made a small mistake. Some of the planes are gliders and they can't actually take off because I'm retarded. Um, pilots, are you on this frequency? I'm retarded, yes. Alright, you heard it. Pass it on to the other pilots. <laughs> I'll see if, we'll see if we can take off somehow. <laughs> So we're getting the sky train ready. I assume they're gonna both take in a convoy and some air vehicles. But we'll just have to see how this all plays out. They can tow a glider with a sky train. Good God. But three pilots, three fighters should be good. Now, I think they're going to... The hell are these two? Oh, so these are going to be the recon guys. With some sort of suppressed weapon right there and a sniffer. So I guess they're going to test out the paradrop script. We'll see how that goes, and I guess the rest of them might convoy it in. But I am excited. So I guess I'll just have to set a few roaming patrols and Solid copy. On go the from way. There. Also, yeah, the Japs, I guess they don't have uh, their sound textured in yet because they give English voices for their stuff. Regardless, let's get uh, another squad down. Let's do a foilage squad. Waiting. Try to keep them in the tree line copy right that. here. Solid copy. Roger. Perfect. And then in terms of snipers, I couldn't really think of anywhere. Except right here, we could have some snipers on the bridge. But that would need to be set up custom. Foilage will probably do a machine gunner. want them to be up high as well so ready for orders you and then a foilage ready. rifleman and we can adjust his scopes accordingly line formation get them prone we can go from there so let's set our global ai skill now Classic 75 for both of those, 35 for accuracy, and 50 for spotting. That should be good. We should launch gliders off the Nimitz. Oh, God. What, should we call Band Incorporated and sell them, hey, we got a new project for you? <laughs> what are they doing? Um... All right, before one of them kills themselves here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, why don't you tell me instead of getting us all killed? Then just rate, you ever, ah. Uh. Okay, you know, we invented radios for a reason. Where do you want me to move this? Can we move it onto the taxiway? Which is like, you know, the grass next to the runway. Basically, you, you see them there in bollards next to, on the side of the runway. Move it somewhere like that. So, like over here? Uh, 
No, no, just get rid of the Galaridus, I doubt he's gonna give us more attack points after two OP. Yeah, so... No, no, it wouldn't be OP, you wanna delete him, so he won't bomb the ship. Not gonna delete them. Yeah, but we do have we, we do, we are, we are on repair and rearm vehicles. Uh, where, where did you say you put it? There! Where did you say it? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, you actually did it. Let's go. What? Get this done. Thank you. I'm on 50 if you need me. Thank you. Got it. Okay, let's move the sky train off the runway now. That shouldn't be too hard. Easy as that. Special forces, I know, right? <laughs> they are indeed special. Alright, guys, come on. There's a bunch of you just waiting around. Some of you have died waiting for this op, literally. Guys, in a in a so, game that has a really down. spotty physics engine, Liam, thank you for the follow. Do you ever ram a frickin' truck into the back of a very delicate plane that could cook off and kill so, everybody? Captain Gadge, thank you for the follow. The answer is no, by the way, you don't, because if that thing cooks off and kills everybody, then you're kinda screwed. <laughs> Not kind of, definitely. So they're just going to move it off the runway. I guess they're only going to take fighter planes and everyone's going to go in via land. It's going to be cute. Here's what I'm going to do since we're anticipating them because the last stop they took stuff over there. I'm going to take a freaking Japanese squad of forest friends. Ready. I'm going to put them right there. I'm gonna grab some mines. And we're gonna use these puppies. I don't trust the cup mines because they don't go off all the time. So let's grab some AT mines. Oh god, cowboy's mother. Build a bridge with dead bodies. <laughs> It is a funny noise, though. That is a funny noise. Alright, guys, 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 guys break. I'm gonna Just get it. Shut changed, up and though. go get them. Eventually. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> the thing about using dead bodies is it creates a tremendous amount of lag, so the better thing I can do is just have a giant amount of mines and adjust them accordingly. So what I'm actually gonna do is change them to a staggered column, have them face this way, and then adjust them when they get in formation, and then set them to be prone, put them a bit off the road. But this should be uh, doable to say the least. We can get a very big point blank ambush right here. If I get a chance to watch the reload of the Tommy guns, Judging from your enthusiasm, there's something really, really retarded or really funny with it. So yeah, we'll try to get eyes on there. But see right here, you can set up an ambush. All right, squad leader. Because if there's only one route to this damn thing, then of course, you know they're probably gonna have it booby trapped. That's one of my only ways to counter these greyhounds. But I will also be nice and do this. Add a shit ton of spare wheels. How many spare wheels can they take? Jesus Christ! What is that, six? Literally a spare wheel for each fucking wheel, so... They should not lose those. Hey, uh, Gav, are you, uh, or not Gav, sorry, uh, Lee, are you on, uh, 50 here? So they're just gonna take the fighter planes, they're just gonna drive it. Alright. Not what I meant for them to do, but that's perfectly okay. Uh, I guess when the shooting starts here, I will crew these, uh, Vicks accordingly. We'll see how this all plays out.
Hey, Tootie, uh, or Ramirez, can you do me a favor and change the title to Zeus Perspective World War II Ops? Uh, Japanese versus USA or something along those lines. I'm trying to get out of, like, the Tier 1 habit of, like, just using tiers because then I'd have to explain constantly what the tier system is. So we'll just, you know, talk about what the ops are themselves. I think that would be better. Ah, they're saying hello from Greece. I appreciate it. Uh, Bloodwind will be there next week, I believe, for like a month. Leaving me all alone. Someone just leave a fucking bazooka here? Is this even a bazooka or is this just some random pole? Yeah, they're not really para-dropping either. <laughs> Iron Front has dead cows placeable as objects. Really? Cow hazard sign from Cup. David, are you on 50? I am now. All right, squad leads, make sure all your guys are on <laughs> I can't the vehicle. seem to find it, though. Moving out now, you guys know your objectives, and uh, pass it on to your second in command and your squad, okay? Copy that. We can put a cow Watch hazard you. sign down. No! <laughs> oh, well. Other than, I guess, balancing itself perfectly now, uh, because physics, the cows have already beaten it. Alright, David, I want one of your vehicles in the... Like, do you know what I'd specifically have to search to find okay, the dead cows? Have the two uh, troop transports in the middle. Because I don't you see You said him. one in the front and one in the back? That is correct. Which is a bit unfortunate. Wink. Uh, David, also put your... Put your, uh, what is it? Put your vehicles on a different frequency so we don't hear them talking over long range. I already have. As well, so awesome. this ferry, but the Japs don't have any boats either. I would love to have a mod that actually adds like textured in World War II frigates right, and shit. Then uh, we can take World of Warships and do it in Arma 3. Hold on, we got one more. <laughs> well, as we got this ambush ready to go, we've got these two spotters ready to go. My medic is conducting an experiment where he sees how much he can put into this truck. Well, tell him to stop doing that because we're gonna need to get moving here. I'm gonna set these guys up. Right here. And I'm going to set them to hold fire. Hold the fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. That way we're just kind of planning oh, our yeah, ambush right here. My Jeep is going to be between the uh, back vehicle, the back transport, and the, uh, what is it? The uh, tank. Under things, dead cows one. You got it. The command Jeep's going to be behind everything? No, it's going to be in between the back transport and the back tank copy that the japs don't have any armor in this mod uh the japs are from the uh, faces of what, war mob but they don't uh, have any that, armor and they don't have any planes again i'm looking for a mod to fill the gap for that and i've ha found one to fill the planes yeah, uh, gap but uh we're what, still uh, testing mod sets sign, right now it? are you sure it's things Because I can't to seem to, to find it. The, uh, air. Which is a shame. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mummy, yeah, if like, you go to uh, uh, open objects, all they got are mortars and the freaking MG static to use. I did type in cow already. Ew. All you get is this. No dead cows. What? He's... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Not so oh. aggressive, young man. <laughs> What do you want from me? We, we heard where you have got the option to be dank as up for. No, not for World War Two. It says it oh, in the channel it? description. Oh. Well then, someone edited the channel description. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna let the tier right, fives be up for aggressors moving. every op. Copy. Otherwise, everything turns to PvP, and I kind of want to limit the amount of PvP we do. True. Alright, uh, okay. get 
get the troop transport so things, the squad leads. Objects. What do you want the uh, I have speed limit to be? This thing? Max I have a grass Oh god. The max speed for the tank comes It cuts down. the grass, the nice. One, so and I have an SSWT kit. Whatever the slowest vehicle top speed is, we'll go at that. Copy, <laughs> we're just gonna go 50. Interesting. Sounds <clears throat> good. Yeah, I just don't, like, I don't want to let the tier 5s be the op 4 aggressors every time. I mean, there needs to be a bit of PvE still in my community. Yeah, it is a shame, but hey, we'll just continue on through that. We've got our two scouts. If Here's the thing. If the convoy Obviously, goes by, they uh, radio to the ambush. If they get uh, shot, ambushes, the noise is going to be heard and they'll ready the up, ambush. Uh, right so either the way, jungle there. the U.S. So, uh, just have them be ready for fighting right out the gates. Copy that. Yeah, maybe something else updated I don't know about, but I'll check it regardless. Uh, FYI, the squad leads, um, the... No, sorry, our air support is Raven. So they're and leading with a the Greyhound. They've got two transport trucks, the Command Vic, and then another Greyhound. How many planes are they bringing? Nafs and Gavalor, so two fighter planes. What the heck are these guys doing now? Some sort of twin barrel. They've got a freaking katana as they're stripping naked. Lovely. Otherwise, it's going to be a long drive. So, last second, or not last second, but any last minute questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, we're going to crew this flak. Because when the op starts, I tend not to check Ready chat as much as I should because I'm busy it's okay, guys. killing player be base people. On this side of the water. Yet, so have you guys actually heard that Verizon conducted an experiment where they intentionally throttled YouTube and other streaming sites? Um, this has been all over the internet and it's been really scary for people like me in the industry because they're able to do stuff like that because they're prepping in case the uh u.s decides to go forward with the net neutrality crap and if they don't go through with it well they're probably going to present it to the middle east and do worse so that's going to be a pain in the ass and regardless someone's going to lose but um verizon has a very big it doesn't have a monopoly, but it has a very big influence within the internet market and whatnot. And I hope to see, you know, its competitors kind of step up and more people start stepping away from Verizon because they're just becoming more and more cancerous. Kind of like what Cox used to be. Ugh, it's a pain in the butt. What does the Tiger look like for this mod? Uh to give an example here here I'll even spawn one and say the Japanese got one from the uh, Germans here if I can remember which one the fucking tiger is but the tiger is it's not the H model I think it's the E model E green that should be it yeah there she is We'll put this puppy right here. Lock her, cut her fuel for now. But the tank textures Standing for the ger for uh, for Iron Front are actually really, really good. So four person crew, driver, gunner, commander, loader. That should be good. Yeah, we don't have a Tiger H one, unfortunately. Charlie, uh, can you ask Norden what all that stuff is on the map? I think he's drawing out structures and shit. Here is Alpha, it appears to be houses. So why is Debunk gotcha. going for the heavy AA? This is the main objective. <laughs> From the map, it looks like they're just going to sweep past the freaking HQ. So I guess I'll just have to be dropping down units and playing things out accordingly. 
Uh, does this mod have hydrogen bombs? No, no, it does not. It doesn't have any nuclear explosives. The only two mods I know of that do nukes is RHS with the B missile truck from the Russian artillery side with the ballistic missile and the KA suitcase to... nuke. David. Convoy well, looks nice. Alright, Bravo. Uh, in case I say uh, Plan B, I want you to go and uh, hit the main command from the north, okay? I'll draw a line for that. You know, that's actually a really good idea. Hold on. It's gonna be pink. Copy. Ready! Let's see if I can get them to keep formation. Put them right on the road, see if they can quickly get back into formation. To high command. Do you read? This is high command, send traffic. Alright, high command, uh, as far as, uh, lives, it's one life, I take it? Uh, that is up to you, you're the commander. We'll, let's do a pool, so, like, uh, we can't just go in instantly, we're gonna need to wait for a group to build up and then we'll push in again, because I think it has more weight. Solid copy, that is all up to you. Alright, uh, squad. Uh, squad leads, tell your squad that it is one life, but obviously it's not one life, but just tell them it is. They'll, <laughs> they'll play better. <clears throat> Roger. Late joiners allowed? Yep. Uh, they'll just get you reinserted when they can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, tell them not to leave so, though, because we might be able to do like a second we? wave or something, just so they don't quit right away after they get killed. There, Al. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Um, I did do a lot of study for World War II, and this was a tactic. Uh, even if you remember Call of Duty World at War, they played dead or tried to surrender and then fought that one squad in the last mission, I believe. But the Japs, they played very dirty. Uh, but however, getting captured, they'd rather commit seppuku. Because getting captured was considered dishonorable. But Japs were crazy good Man, fighters. this is Bravo when... We get across the bridge, both tanks will pull They might, the that's why, so like, I originally put the squad on the road, but then I moved them on the side, because you're absolutely right, they could get run over. Go on their mission. Sounds good. We'll see how they PID this. Man, it appears we have something on the road up ahead. It doesn't look like it's IDs, it looks, they look like dead bodies. 10-4, uh, investigate. Uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? <laughs> oh, that was that was a good idea. That was a very good idea. A lot of them got killed, but still, that was smart. That was smart. So in this campaign, I will be working on a new campaign uh, for Iron Front. And we will have stuff like that. That was a good test run. We're coming up along the bridge now. I'm an enemy sniper. All that GTA, though, they did do a lot of running over. So I see the tangos here. They're being fired at. So they were spotted. But this is regular difficulty. People can just freaking map cheat. Otherwise, they're just gonna go past the bridge and run into these AT mines. Let's get ready for this ambush. Yeah, that Greyhound did run over like two of them. We're hit, I believe. Someone's hit. Hmm. Why is convoys taking a lot of space? And that Greyhound up ahead is probably gonna get blown to hell. Uh, casualty report? Anyone? Thought I heard Elvis someone cooking off. That's fine. Planes are taking off, or at least getting set to take off. Charlie is all green. <coughs> Sounds good. Tanks are starting to 
Prevented a lot of these guys from outright dying. We also have some mines out here. I'm keeping an eye out for that. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, sound of the ejection clip from the other thing, Ron. It's just insanely loud for whatever reason on the server. Murphy is unconscious, but he got out. We're gonna need to check him for medical attention. All right, Alpha, let's start assaulting. Let's ambush people. Get off the road, squad Drop them. Oh, someone triggered a mine and got me from that freaking mine. Thought I heard a mine explosion, but I think someone just threw a grenade and just had the same explosive effect. Otherwise, they're starting to suppress that direction. So now they're going to move up to our bunker complex. Uh, they're not close enough for um, engineer. Looks like they're working on Murphy now. Dead walker on about. Let's, uh, let's get him a warm up, shall we? Tyson, thank you for the follow. Here, let's send an ambush squad after them. Waiting! Quick line formation. On the way! Send them across. We put our global skill back, and we'll try to get. Well, make sure your guys are pushing up, okay? Otherwise, none of the mines to the right were really touched, so they're actually pushing doing something pretty smart and going through uh, where the Japs were. But now we're just gonna have ground infantry pushing through. Uh, I'm gonna after this squad, I'm gonna give them some space to advance. But over here, I'm gonna put some Japs down, and we'll let them go through that as well. Japs over here are moving in to hear those explosions. Awesome. So those bodies got deleted by... Uh, I've got everything on a five-minute timer for deletion. These got deleted. It didn't crash the server. That was the biggest issue we had. So if All we just way. let the server do it, there's no issues. And that's what I like to hear. Otherwise, Murphy's still down back here, but it looks like they've forgotten. Front. Three. Otherwise, units are pushing up. Now the ambush is starting. Uh, Japs are coming in. Now. The infantry is out of position. I'm not 
holding the trigger down. Why are you firing? You literally just put your entire mag over there. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna do POW. And you're right, I shouldn't be jinxing the server. Contact! Rifleman! Okay, let's Hey, bud! <laughs> so Mod Dick's down, Frosty went down, Rat King's the only one left. Atkins also up. Alright, so they're dealing with the brunt, but no one's coming back to help because... No one has a long-range radio back here to report it. <laughs> so Atkin and Rat King wake up. On the way! Otherwise, we're just gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna put down our next line of infantry over here. Full squad. Standing by. Have them set to crouch, ready to go. Put them in a line. Down our global skill to cover again. And we'll go from there. Otherwise, these guys looks like they're going to freaking swim it. <laughs> Instead of take the bridge. I mean, tactics-wise, that is pretty smart. <clears throat> Kamikaze Liru pilots. As good as I am at doing stuff like that, we don't have any uh, planes to use. I wish we had zero fighters and stuff, but unfortunately, we don't. Copy that. Alpha is progressing on the post. Yeah, they're progressing on a post because I, as the commander, Bravo am using a different route. Can do anything about this damaged tank? This is just when I was gonna get the shot off. Man. So we got one more guy. We're gonna have him fall back, and I'm gonna have him run over to the HQ to let them know we've got targets incoming. Ungroup him. Seven to full. Welcome. On the way. There we go. Roger. How bad's the tank? So we got the infantry coming in. Yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but there's no amount of engineering that can fix this. Because it's kind of fucked. To put in the easiest term. <laughs> Like I said, I've got mods that are going to come up that'll add the planes in and whatnot, but for now, we're just working with what we got. So, Sniper. So, it's Calcoon, okay. Nice. That's thumbnail material right there. They're just chilling in their planes. We also have Sniper and Epsil, so if you want more bombs. Okay, I guess this guy doesn't want to be a runner and said he's going to ambush one of the squads. He's following their tracks. Uh, they've gotten the two other guys right, up, but they no, don't know about Murphy, who's still here. bleeding out right here. That kin just fell unconscious, too. I think he needs blood. I don't know why they're uh, back you, there, as if there's some sort of rear echelon over, squad or something. Uh, I'm going to mark with a uh, orange X, if you guys could have a flyover on that. Hello. The fix are going by themselves. What? How do we re how do we answer? I don't know. I asked the commander. Uh, he's the one that would say. All right, we'll uh, push up as soon as we can then, okay. and uh, take it out. Lovely. Ambiguous. Remind me again how you're gonna reinsert. You've got re three reinserts at base. I'm not ambiguous. He's talking to me. Okay, uh... If well, you're not ambiguous, is, uh, why do you open your mouth? We can either... Did one of the guys want to fly one of the, um... Transport planes? <sighs> just para-drop them in. You know? <laughs> we, we could. I mean... It... Let's do that. Tell one of the other pilots to para-drop them in. Uh, I give up. When we get enough of them, okay? 
So we had three of them, right? Arm three for like, right yeah, there. Yeah, we can drop those guys in. Okay, we'll have him follow the tracks of this squad. He is a Japanese tracker. And they're still leaving Murphy behind. And Pratt King here is dealing with Akin. Otherwise, we're moving up. Greyhounds are moving up by themselves. I'm assuming with the powerful flak right here, we could probably... Work something out. Oh, this let's, is a uh, fish to turn, and that goat just kamikaze me. Anime kawaii. This is God Raven damn, 2 so. ground. Uh, Evan, thank you for the we follow. We have one 500-pound bomb plus a... Uh, uh, 30mm cannons have got Nice. Alright, we'll, uh, keep that in mind. Have him right, hold fire. Other copies. See if anyone's pulling Try rear. Down. One is, okay, the medic. Call them in if you think it's safe for them to fly. This is gonna be interesting. Trog is watching the rear. He's being too stealthy. Kerbal, I think, sees him. Go prone, buddy. Oh, you're dead. Damn it. But see, what these fields do, we can also like have a bunch of guys prone here. And when they cross, we can then have them stand up and set them from hold fire to assault. Meanwhile, I'm going to have these guys go investigate that gunshot. I don't want to capture Murphy. I can't capture Murphy. We stole these four infantry, and he's probably going to bleed out by them. But if these guys make it to his position, we steal these Vicks, then yes, we can capture Murphy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, some shots being given. We've got two men down on the dot. Teacher and Barty. Took a few bullets. Barty Lord's still down up there, but he's trying to suppress. I think that's close enough to start calling an artillery. Let's, uh, let's get here to deploy the round. Cap, thank you for following. That flamethrower does not have the range that he thinks it does. Only one guy left, though. Um, ground command to Raven. Do you read? This is Raven. I read. Raven, uh, who's doing the uh, so far, so air insert? That'll be Nap. Once he gets the sky train out of the ditch. All right, sounds good. Did you not deploy the round here? We'll try again. Alright, I don't think the ace variant works for him. That's fine. We'll just create a fire support artillery target here. And then order this guy to follow. Now he should. Or not! Yay! <laughs> this doesn't work for anybody, but I'm sure the freaking machine guns will still suppress. Hopefully. They're pushing up there, dealing with some of their casualties. This is high command, send traffic. Do we have the parachuting script on? Uh, Roger, the parachuting script should be in the Skytrain by default for Arma. Um, otherwise, I do not know, since it's not a mod that I can simply turn on and off. Well, there's one way to find out. You're right, there is only one way to find out. What the hell are these two armor pieces doing? Like, they're just cutting through. All right. Um. Yeah, I legit have no idea yeah. where they're going. Uh, I want you to hold there. Do you think you could actually get a uh, flank on these guys down here? Actually, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. Continue. Continue on to the heavy AA. We need to clear this up for people. So they're actually going to engage my heavy AA. The, uh... Okay, I guess this is now an objective of some sorts. Uh, no, I do not. I want you guys to hit the heavy AA to the north. Copy that. 
So I guess I'm just gonna make something here. Standing by. AI Garrison. Not you. Cool. All right, and then we'll just put some mines on the road because the Jeffs don't have any Vix to be using. So we'll just put some more uh, AT mines down. Uh, Charlie Alpha, is there any reason why we're holding up? Uh, Commander, I want this is Cochran. I want you to cool. mark our reinsertion point for paratroopers. Ten four, I'll mark it with a white. Yeah, assault. Purple. I mean. <clears throat> Negative, the only right. issue uh, is other thick uh, jungle and World War II style or even Vietnam style maps that I found to use in the Charlie past currently holding, waiting have for the their own cool. issues and that's why Tanoa ends up being the most viable option for me. <clears throat> Anywhere around there. You know, you're exact. Tootie, you're right. We do have a tiger. Whew. Ooh, 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 we do have a tiger. And I think I know where we're going to send him. On the way! This is High Command and Ground Command. Do you copy? <clears throat> yeah, I read you. Send it. Solid copy. Uh, can you just confirm with me what the primary objective is? Uh, aren't we assaulting a uh, complex? Solid copy in HQ. Uh, we're taking out the side objective first so we can uh, push to it. Solid copy. Which side objective? The uh, one uh, to the east. Solid copy. Because, I mean, with the heavy AA, they don't know that, like, I just said, like, we know Charlie, there's AA here. We just don't know where the AA it. is. That's yeah, fine. You can hear this tiger from up. like 500 meters away. Uh, hear it? I need you guys to. Okay, as soon as they get there, it's fucking time. ridiculous. There's a. Like, so we're. We're right here. So almost a kilometer away, you can hear that fucker. Like, that's. <laughs> that's bloody ridiculous. Let's help to make it. Sounds good. So they've dropped some guys via parachute. Yep, the parachute script is working. <clears throat> okay, we clearly see those shoots though. So Mr. AA, you wanna you wanna get in on that? Good, Mr. AA. Well, I hit one of the shoots. Just for your information, there is one Panzer IV on the western coast. 10 4, do you copy that, David? David? Bravo? Yes. Okay, do you copy? There's a tank uh, on the west side of the island. Uh, we're so Christopher your... dropped here. Yeah, we're gonna need your presence as soon as you take out that. Pogo area. fell Just in the jungle. Northwest of the MK AA is looking around. The the south of the AA. Christopher fell a bit. Oh, Christopher's in a. <laughs> he fell in a tree, and now he is floating. Here we have the mighty Christopher. Mark now. Relaxing in the canopy as he has landed. He's going to now have to get down, but this is going to be difficult for him. That's the issue about, uh, so Pog's gonna just kill himself outright. Let's get our buddy. Well, it looks like he had a seizure. I think server just crashed. And Damn. server just crashed. God damn it. Server crash! I have no idea what caused it. <clears throat> I'm gonna tab out. First part of this is that I have to watch myself plummet to the ground really slow. 
Bravo didn't get to do anything except for blow up, so yay. Godspeed. I have no idea what caused oh, I'm it. I'm actually doing flips right now. This is pretty dope. Seriously. I mean, nothing blew up. Nothing crashed. I guess Murphy's Sorry, head boys, spazzed I out. Upside down, but I'm, I'm good. I don't know what causes these crashes. I legitimately have no idea. Maybe the parachute. I don't know. It was Murphy's head, but... that Maybe it was the parachute, but that's the only thing I can think of, because, um... Yeah. I don't know. This has been an issue I've had for weeks. So I'm just going to quickly check the logs here. So the server right now is restarting for whatever reason. Oh, that's nice. It actually gave me a fucking crash log here. From an unknown module. That's cute. Well, I guess I'll have to look at that later. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. But at least, at least it's giving me a log now that I can use to figure out what the hell happened. That All right, so um, now she's mocking me. The good news the is it at least gave me a crash log, though. Based on the timing, uh, with everything that's happened, I would say maybe it was the um, maybe it was the paradrop script because everything else, uh, like bodies were being deleted, fine. Uh, everything else was being fine. I mean, I don't know. I jumped out, landed fine. Someone said that they just fell out of the plane and died. Yeah, two guys died. So it could be that. <laughs> uh, you have to have a minimum uh, altitude of 100 meters. We were like that at 800. Enough. Oh, yeah. okay, well then, sucks for you. I mean, like, if one of us survived because the parachute deployed, the yeah. other one just seemed his parachute deployed, but just kept on going down real fast. I, um, Japanese use electronic warfare. I could hit that like and landed in a tree. Ah, that, that could have crashed like it too. You. So, yeah, um, Great. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was the flak hitting the parachutes, I don't know. No, I it wasn't, it would have crashed earlier. Down. But I will review the log based on the timestamps of the stream and go from there. So, other than that, uh, tomorrow from, I don't know, just some random time, I feel like probably around 4 to 7, we're going to test out Auntie Stasi again. Woo! What? So yeah. Anti Stasi may be coming back. This is that party star. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Good thing no, party's no just more. A fuck boy. Damn. Jeez. Yo. So anyway, uh, that's all I got, and I think we're just gonna call it here. Maybe it was good the good Minecraft. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll figure this out eventually. It's just an absolute pain in the ass. Go operate operationally. Goats did not crash it. Shut your mouth. But uh, we'll be testing Antistasi tomorrow. So, uh, you know, we'll just try to pinpoint this issue. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm also just going to run some stuff on the server and see if I can find an exact cause. But otherwise, excuse me. Take care. Have a good one. And in a few hours, we'll do a stream for making a bunch of custom compositions.